This is a demonstration of the vintage record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. First thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck here and here. Screw those fully down clockwise so the deck floats on its springs and remember to unclip the arm. On the front of the main controls we're on our volume and tone which I'll demonstrate whilst the record is playing. And on the deck you have the speed control here, stop start here and size selector here for 7, 10 or 12 inch. So you can load between 1 and 6 records. I'll demonstrate with 2 just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stacker arm across and select auto to start the auto changer. And volume is at the top and tone at the bottom. Select auto again to skip to the next record. So we'll just demonstrate with the start of the 12 inch record as well. And of course the arm lifts off automatically at the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and just want to play one record manually at a time, then you can just place an individual record down the spindle onto the mat like so. Leave the stacker bar up and select auto, uh, or you can just select manual start and place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, lower the stacker bar down so it knows to switch off at the end or leave the stacker bar up to enable the repeat function and the same record plays over again. If you do want to play the old 78s, there's a dedicated 78 stylus, just flip the stylus flag over like so, so that the 78 print is uppermost and return back for all of the speeds. So hopefully that covers everything. If you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my email address in with the machine and please use that method to contact